I'm standing here in the KPBS break room with financial planner Gabriel Wisdom. He's here to help me explain the basics of how Prop B would change the city of San Diego's retirement system. Prop B would freeze the base pay of current city employees for five years, but it would also switch most new city employees, excluding police officers, from a defined benefit to a defined contribution system. And this is what Gabriel and I are going to focus on today. And we're going to do that using eggs. Okay, these uh, bowls of eggs represent three different pots of money. This is the general fund over here, which the city uses to fix things like uh, streets and provide city services. And the bowl in the middle uh, represents the city's pension fund, which it invests in the stock market in the hope that it'll go up and then uses that money to give uh, retirees the benefits that they've been promised. And then this bowl here is the uh, employee's retirement fund. So we have the general fund, the pension fund, and the individual accounts of the retired workers. Right. Okay, so what does the current system look like right now? It's called the defined benefit system, right? Right, that means that the uh, retirees are guaranteed a certain benefit, which is determined mainly by the number of years an employee uh, worked and the salary that they got. So let's say an employee uh, is promised four eggs a year okay. for the rest of their life. Okay. So we take four eggs and we put them in the employee bowl. Okay. The city has to give them four eggs every year. Okay, but what if something happens, like in the last few years when the stock market crashed? So now there aren't enough eggs to cover the required contribution. See, there are only three and they need four. Well, that's where the general fund comes in. Uh, when there aren't enough eggs in the pension fund, the city has to take eggs from the general fund to cover the losses. Okay. So we take two eggs from the general fund and we put them in the pension fund. Okay, but that means there are fewer eggs left to cover city services, right? Right. Okay, so this year the city's pension contribution in dollars, not eggs, is about $230 million, which is actually lower than expected because the stock market soared. Yes, but switching to a defined contribution system would mean the city is not subject to the ups and downs of the stock market. Okay, that's what Prop B is proposing, right? Right, it would uh, change the system so the city only guarantees a certain contribution to their retirement fund, like a 401k. It doesn't guarantee what will happen to that contribution. Okay, so let's break this down in terms of eggs. This becomes the employee's retirement fund, 401k. <laughs> yes, but it gets a bit more complicated. Let's say the city commits to putting two eggs a year into the employee's retirement fund while they're working. Okay, so two eggs into the 401k fund. Yeah and the employee puts one egg a year into their 401k. Okay. And now the employee gets to decide how to invest those eggs, those 401k eggs in the stock market. Okay, so the city's contribution is limited and the employee has more control over how their money is invested. But what happens if the stock market crashes and they lose a bunch of eggs? Well, that's on the employee. So the city wouldn't make them whole then? No, under this new system, the city only commits to making a certain contribution. It doesn't have anything to do with what happens to that contribution. The employee would have to deal with whatever gains or losses they take on the stock market, which means they might have to do with fewer eggs. Okay, so this is what a lot of people in the private sector went through during the recession. Right. But there's a difference, right? Most people in the private sector are enrolled in Social Security and city employees currently aren't. That's right. Ah, another bowl. Got another <laughs> bowl. This is the Social Security bowl. Uh -huh. So in the private sector, uh, when the market tumbles and eggs begin to fall, Social Security acts as a kind of safety net. During their working lives, most people in the private sector and their employers have been paying eggs into Social Security. Okay, so a couple eggs into Social Security. Once they're done working, they get some eggs back, right? That's right. So if the market crashes and they lose some 401k eggs, they can at least count on their Social Security eggs still coming in. So let's say one egg going back into the employees fund there. Yeah. Okay, but uh, the city and city employees currently don't pay into Social Security, so they wouldn't get those eggs when they retire, right? Right. Okay, although I should say supporters of Prop B say future employees could vote on whether they want to rejoin the Social Security system, but those details have yet to be worked out. Correct.
So there you have it, planning your retirement nest egg. Obviously, retirement systems and investments are a lot more complicated than this, but our little demonstration was meant to give you an idea of the basic changes that will be made to the retirement system if San Diego switches from a pension to a 401k. Gabriel, thank you so much for helping explain it. Thank you, Katie.